this video, I'm going to show you how I did this spicy red color. Stay tuned for the details. Hey dolls, how y'all doing? So, um, I started doing my color during the daytime. As y'all can see, I got some old grown out color already and I am ready to change it up. I have my BW bleach powder here and I am going to use a 20 developer um, instead. I'm not gonna do like a 30 or 40, it's really not necessary. I just wanna lift it so you can see the red color. So I'm putting on gloves because that's very important. You want to protect your skin from any kind of chemicals when you're doing this. Um, I'm just uh, scooping out um, as much as necessary. Um, it's not a particular amount. I just want to make sure it's a good amount and a good consistency because um, my hair is thick and natural. So I have to make sure that I'm using a good amount of powder in this mixture. And I'm just kind of eyeballing the uh, developer. I don't really have like a measuring cup for that. Um, plus, you know, I'm a professional, so this is what I do anyway. I have a cosmetology license, and um, many of you guys don't know, but I went to Paul Mitchell uh, back in 2013. And um, what I've learned there has stuck with me um, throughout this journey. So yeah, um, I'm pretty much eyeballing. I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm just carefully mixing it very uh, carefully until it's like a nice creamy whipped cream type of consistency here, as you can see. And I'm using my brush because that's what I had on hand. Now that I'm done mixing, I'm gonna set my bleach mix to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning off my hair. I'm sectioning off my hair in four parts, um, and uh, I'm just using some hair clips, as y'all can see, and making sure that my parts are pretty good um, because I'm just going to start putting the color on the root of the hair because I have a lot of root, uh, new growth, as y'all can see. Um, starting with uh, all the new growth, I'm going to put bleach on that first um, because bleach is, or, and nothing is, is pretty really natural. Um, so nothing has really been on my roots. Um, the ends, I will put the bleach on that last because I don't want to over process my hair. I want to make sure I'm doing this very carefully and protecting my hair. And uh, as y'all can see, I'm just making sure I'm starting with the perimeter of the hair. Um, I don't want to go inside the hair just yet. Just want to start on the perimeter of the sections. And just making sure I'm being very careful and using my mirror in front of me. And I'm just speeding it up just to, you know, show you guys what I'm doing. You know, making sure I'm getting all the baby hairs and stuff like that. Um... making sure also that you are saturating the hair with the bleach mixture you don't want to miss any strands or anything um, in the hair i'm making sure that i'm taking my time with this because when you have thick natural hair you want to make sure all the strands are um per you know not perfectly but you want to make sure it's you know correct and everything is colored to the right consistency because um, sometimes you know you can miss some spots and you'll have like some tiger stripes in your hair if you're not careful so I'm really really making sure that all my hair is uh, bleached properly and I'm just kind of massaging it in just a little bit so uh, in the hair so I can make sure that the strands are uh, getting bleached and it's being lifted right especially like in the root area um, putting a bag on my head because I don't know where my plastic shower caps are so I'm just gonna let this sit for about 20 to 25 minutes in my head
these are my products this is the iso plus neutralizing shampoo the afro g shampoo for damaged hair and the two-step protein treatment um, i'm using this uh to protect my hair from the um the color and stuff the uh, the bleach that i use and with the step two protein protection treatment you do not want to comb through it while it's in there because it stiffens your hair and it will break it off so you really want to make sure this stuff is dry on your head. It's, your hair is going to be really stiff, but it's just to help protect it. And then I follow it after I rinse that out. I follow through with a deep condition treatment. Um, this is just going to keep my hair from getting frizzy and getting really dry and brittle. So you just want to make sure you do a real good deep con uh, deep condition treatment as well as a protein treatment on your hair when you are doing bleach because uh, bleach tends to take away from the moisture and the protein in your hair. So I rinsed everything out and uh, as y'all can see it kind of looks reddish but that's okay because we're going to use red anyway. This is the Moisture Balance Afro-G uh, Leave-In Moisture product that I'm using. It's like a like a, a lotion for your hair. It just kind of helps balance the moisture in your hair after you have uh, put chemicals in it. Um, it just kind of helps keep the moisture sealed in the hair. So we are ready to mix our color. I got my uh, a clean color bowl here, as y'all can see. I got three colors. This is the Orange Blaze, the Cajun Spice, and the French Cognac. And I'm mixing these three colors together to give it like a nice, rich ginger look. Um, so I mix everything the same equal parts. Um, as y'all know, I, I, I buy my stuff. And we are ready to put it in. And like I did with the bleach, I made sure I uh, take my time and apply this color in and really saturate the hair and really paint it on really good and make sure I'm getting every crev crevice and uh, nook and cranny of my hair and making sure it is colored properly because you don't want to miss any spots. You want to make sure everything is even, evenly colored, evenly saturated. As y'all can see, um, I'm really liking the color so far when we ain't even rinsed it out yet and I already like it. So I'm just making sure I'm getting all the strands of my hair and carefully painting the color on. So now that my color is on, I am going to go ahead and put a plastic cap on top. I'm going to let the color sit for about a good 30 minutes. And after I washed my hair, I'm just making sure that my hair is has been properly colored, that I haven't missed any spots. And I'm going to go ahead and section my hair and get ready to blow out my hair. I am using my uh, Revlon blowout brush. I actually really love this blowout brush. It's really good. It saves me time when it comes to blowing out my hair. And I am going to go in after my hair is blown out. I'm going to flat iron it and put some curls in it. And voila! Here we are, honey. We are finished with the look. I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling all Hollywood old time glam and i'm really feeling it I, I love the color i love the style it's very sophisticated and classy and i hope you guys like the color as well comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more content thank you all so much bye